Hi, everybody. Hello, I'm Ryan. I'm Bethany. And we are Ryan and Bethany Board Game Review. And today we'll be talking about Lawyer Up Season 2. This is designed by Samuel Bailey and Mike Nett and is published by Rock Manor Games. All right, this has all three new, all new cases. Anything from a divorce settlement to a, a casino heist uh, to a frame job. So there's a lot going on here. Um, well, another thing is, is a big solo mode. And not only that, it goes back and kind of gives solo modes to all the other cases as well. Uh, so this kind of, at its core, plays very similarly to uh, Lawyer Up Season 1. Um, so I'm going to put a link down below to uh, in the description to that review. We're we'll going to kind of a quick overview of how to play, so that we kind of get an idea of how to play. I'm not going to reteach that because it's very, very similar. But this does add a whole lot of new things. Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like a lot more involved. So in the original cases, you're just trying to manipulate the jury. Um, and in this case, is there's other things that you're trying to manipulate. Like in the frame job, you're trying to manipulate the jury. But if at any point the jury is all swayed to um, the, uh, not the, the prosecution, prosecution, you lose because it's, you're, there's new win conditions. Yes, yes. And then there's also like a mystery that you're trying to solve as the defendant. And if you can solve that before the before the game. And then, then you automatically win. So there's other things that are happening. So it's just so much more involved. And I really like that. Like, it, it made sense that there was this... It was like Lawyer Up Plus. <laughs> like, it had that the regular game. You're playing the cards the normal way. But there's other cards and other ways to to interact with each other. And to interact with um, the jurors. And just... It, it was... It was just a lot more involved. Yeah, I mean, there's extra components, too. I mean, before it was just, like, the prosecution deck versus the you know yeah. the defense deck. And there's some jurors off to the side, maybe a couple of witnesses. And that was kind of the whole layout. But now, basically, each one of these cases came with new decks to to manipulate. So, like, for instance, uh, in the divorce settlement, there's actually all these, ma all these materials, all these things that you're trying to figure out. Okay, well, I want the house. So you take the dog. I'll take the board game collection. Yeah, <laughs> you, you <laughs> that can was take in the, there. <laughs> You can take the yacht, or whatever the case is, so you're manipulating all of the goods. Or maybe there's certain kind of new evidence decks, or new allies that you can draw from, or whatever the case is. Each case had new things to interact with besides just your own individual decks. Also, the kids weren't worth as much as your job in that game, <laughs> yeah. so I think I understand what happened. The priorities were messed up with that <laughs> relationship. But also the themes of it. Um, so in, in the original Lawyer Up, I thought the theme w was good and and um, when it comes to teaching me how to play, like I understood what that meant. So the themes in these ones, I not only are they good, but I could like, I felt it more, I guess. So in the like frame job, the oh, we are going through that game. Like I hear, I'm trying to scramble to prove my innocence, and I'm trying to get these allies, and I'm trying to find the clues. Like I just felt that a lot more, and it still helped with gameplay of what I was able to do. And I felt like I was always. Um, just on my toes and always behind, and that's how it would feel, you know, in a situation like you've that. You've got to prove your innocence. You've in got to prove your innocence, but but you also have to defend yourself because you can't just only work the case. You can't only just try. You actually have to in court be like, guys, I'm a good guy. So like the two aspects of that, and I just thought that was really cool. Like I I actually, I don't know. I I felt that more, and I liked it. It it, it um it helped me enjoy the gameplay. Absolutely, and you know the. The themes before were, were cool and they were interesting and they yeah. were, you know, the Salem Witch Trials and stuff. I love that. It's, it's super unique. But at the same time, these ones were um, even a little closer to home, right? You know, as yeah. far as like a divorce court, it's going to be relevant for a lot of players. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting touch. All right, so kind of hinted at earlier the solo modes. Um, this has a really robust solo mode. And not only does it have the solo mode for the three cases in this box, but it also even adds some additional solo content for the original four cases from Lawyer Up Season 1. Uh, in addition to that, there is a cooperative mode. Uh, so if you have two copies of the game or you have Season 1 and Season 2 together, you can combine them to make this cooperative mode, um, which is which is really interesting. You're playing against the AI, the, the solo AI, the same way that uh, the solo player would do it. Um, but also, it's really interesting for a case like the, you know, the divorce court settlement, um, where you can actually try to have an amicable um, situation. You're trying to be you know, equitable in the whole thing. You're trying to, you know, to, to resolve everything peacefully. So I think that's a, a really interesting concept of being able to make this very competitive game, switch it over to a cooperative cooperative mode two versus the AI of the, I don't know, the, the, the game itself. Yeah, but was it easy to learn? Okay, so... <laughs> 
what's interesting is I, I, I had some struggles with the original rule book for Lawyer Up Season 1. Um, but after we got it down, okay, I was, uh, this is great. We know I've got going into yeah. Season 2, I've got all that background knowledge. I've got that, that foundation. It's going to be easy to build off that foundation. Even still, the, the, the rule book for Season 2 was a struggle as well. There's some really relevant information that we needed that we weren't able to find. You know, there's yeah. a lot of assumptions made by the rule book writers, like... They they'll figure it out. They'll, they understand this. They'll, they they you know. And we did figure it out, but gosh darn not it! Not some of them. Some of them we literally <laughs> don't know. <laughs> and a lot of the, uh, the season one stuff we were able to find on BGG. Yeah. This one's too new. There's not yeah. enough. You know. There's not a lot of clarity out there yet for this. So um, over time, hopefully that'll become more clear. There may be some errata written up and things like that to kind of fix that. But as of right now, the robot was kind of kind of a disaster. Um. But overall, if you like two player games and you want something different I guess that's more involved I really think that lawyer up is something you should check out because I it's a great two-player game and it's different than probably most of the two-player games we play a lot of the two-player games we play are like two to four and we just play them two-player but this is designed specifically for that two-player and so it has that tension but it's also just very different in the other games I've played that are designed for two players so I think it's extremely unique if you like that and you want something that's more um intense I guess like that's more involved this is the game that you want to check out I was not in love with season one. It's a game that I'm I'm not super interested in playing anymore. Uh, season two kind of breathed a little bit of new life to that, new yeah. cases, new ideas, new challenges, things like that. Um, it fixed a lot of the problems I had with season one, um, it, while still keeping its 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 good, the good stuff, right? Yeah. So keeping back the good stuff, I felt like there was more reasons to do things before. It was kind yes. of just like yeah. um, play your strongest cards, make your best combos, and that was the end of it. Now there's a little bit more nuance. And now with more decision points. Maybe I'll go over here. Maybe I go over to this side of the board. Maybe I try to get some actions over here. Maybe I try to collect some of these allies. Maybe I try to do whatever the case is. I try to, you know, I like how you were divided in your decisions. It wasn't yeah. just about kind of doing the same thing, playing the highest card over and over again, into the stack. Yeah. Yeah, it was really, really interesting. Like, if anything, like, that we're talking about sounds interesting, I would definitely check this out. Until then, make sure to subscribe so you can see our videos as they come out, and you can find us in all of these places. You guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, this game was provided to us by a publisher for in exchange for a fair and honest review. And if you want to see more stuff, check out over here to see something we think you might like. And over here, we think uh, that YouTube has picked out a great video for you. You're going to love. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.